Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah My dear students hope you are fine and keeping yourself well and I was think that you are staying at home and uh, keeping yourself safe from corona pandemic you know that uh, due to the problem of covid-19 all the educational activities of our country has been have been suspended from 17th march of 2020 and uh, it's our government declaration that the teachers must continue their classes and their connections with the students through the advantage of internet technology and after this commandment from the government uh, especially from the ministry of education uh, we the teachers of pirospur gopt women's college under the leadership under the directives of our honorable principal sir professor Saifuddin uh, we have started to pursue our academic activities through the help of internet technology and you know that as you were the students of uh, on second year of english department you have many courses and among all the courses there is one course that is romantic poetry and there are many poets that we have to study from the romantic poets uh, that begins with william blake and we have already taught many of his poems many of blake's poem in the classroom and today i'll talk about uh, a very important and a very large poem of stick colorist or samuel taylor colorist and the name of the poem is the rhyme of the ancient mariner and you know that i have earlier posted a video made a video tutorial uh, based on the life and events of samuel taylor colorys so let's start the poem was written in 1834 and i have collected this soft copy of the poem from poetry foundation so the credit goes to them let's begin the rhyme of the ancient mariner by samuel taylor colorys uh, you see that there is an argument before we enter into the main poem so let's read the argument how a ship having passed the line was driven by storms to the cold country toward the south pole and how from thence she made her course to the tropical latitude of the great pacific ocean and of the strange things that befell and in what manner the ancient mariner came back to his own country so this is the argument of the poem so uh, we have to understand what a uh, argument what an argument is before entering into the poem an argument uh, in a poetry uh, in poetry or in a poem is a summary or a brief introduction about what is going on inside the poem so an argument is a brief summary and it will tell you what is the main subject matter of the poem and inserting argument or providing an argument before at the beginning or at the end of a poem is a common renaissance renaissance tradition and we find this type of tradition in in 
John Milton's Paradise Lost and in many other literary piece or in other many in many other literary works so what is happening here in this argument the poet is informing us that he will talk about a sheep that passed the line and was driven by storms it faced huge storms huge winds to the coal country toward the south pole you know that the whole world is divided into two poles south pole and north pole so south pole uh, is situated in antarctica and you know that antarctica is the coldest region of the world and you will see that uh, and you will get information from internet and other sources that the weather of the antarctica remains below minus minus 12 degree minus 12 degree I, uh, th that means that uh, it suffers from serious cold and serious winter and how from thence and how from that south pole the sheep made her course to the tropical latitude of the great pacific ocean so from the cold coldest region it again came to the great pacific ocean and tropical areas and of the strange things that befell and in this course of time many strange and unimaginable events took place inside the ship and in the life of the mariners and in what manner the ancient mariner came back to his own country and after all kinds of tribulations tribulations all kinds of problems on all kinds of sufferings how the ancient mariner came back i mean how he returned to his own country england and i have inserted a short note here you see that south pole indicates to the coldest region of the earth so this is all about the argument let's go into the poem let's enter into the poem in part 1 it is an ancient mariner and he stops on of the three by thy long gray beard and glittering eye now wherefore stops thou me so we see that the poem begins with uh, an impersonal pronoun and introductory it it is an ancient mariner so we we, we find a character and the name of the character is ancient mariner and what he did he stopped on of the three actually the mariner was sitting outside a ceremonial hall ceremony hall uh, and uh, three three guests were passing by him and he stopped on of them by thy long gray beard and glittering eye and the mariner had long gray beard i mean that means he was a very old he was a very old person and glittering eye his eyes were glittering was shining now wherefore stop though me so the guest is asking the mariner the reason why he was stopping him and after that we see the situation that is happening that is going on the bridegroom's doors are opened wide so you know bridegroom uh, that means uh, bar so the doors of bars are opened wide and i am next of kin and the person who is stopped by the mariner is a kin kin means relative so he is a neighbor he is a relative to the bride to the bridegroom the guests are met the feast is set all the guests have come they have united inside the hall room and they are waiting for uh, uh, the uh, tasty foods delicious food items that uh, usually that is usually served uh, in a marriage ceremony you know that all the roast and all the pulao's 
or all the uh, Kashir Rejalas and many other things, all the Dudhis and all the mysteries, you see, you see that a very joyous and jocund environment. The guests are met, the feast is set. The feast means the, uh, the ceremonial food, the official food, the organized food, the feast is set. A large dinner or a large lunch that is called feast. And missed here the merry din, the merry din. So din means loud noise and merry means joyous. So uh, they can hear, they can uh, hear the uh, sound of music uh, that that is run, uh, that uh, that is being run and that was being played by the musicians to celebrate the marriage ceremony. He holds him with his skinny hand. So we see that the mariner is very thin person and his hands are skinny. Skinny means bony. Uh, and in Bangla that can be translated into hard dish. So his hand is his hands are skinny. There was a ship, Kothi, and the mariner began his story by quoting there was a ship quote he quote is uh, uh, is an ancient type of english is a, is a, is an uh, is an old type of english uh, that means quote udhriti there hold up and hand me gray beard loon loon means type of old person gray beard loon hold up actually the guest is requesting the mariner to release him to unhand him to set him free so that he could go there if soon his hand dropped he if soon means soon after soon after his hand i mean the hand of the mariner dropped the hands of the guest so he released him he unhands him though he unhands him the guest could not go jodio ei bhadra lok take sere diye chilo kintu guest ashole jete pareni he holds him with his glittering eye actually for the first time the mariner was holding the guest with his hand and now his hands are released its hands are dropped but the man is holding the guest with his glittering eye i mean he is attracting him he uh, he has attracted him uh, that um, that is a uh, kind of out of fear so the guest could not run could not run away Let's see the next lines. Uh, so let's see the wedding guest stood still. The man was standing still, looked at Daria Ruilo and listens like a three year child. So he became puzzled. The guest became puzzled and he became a little baby, three years child. I mean, he does not have uh, any kind of power or any kind of freedom to avoid the mariner and join the feast he does not have that kind of uh, courage and that kind of uh, freedom so the mariner has his will the mariner abhishesh jite gelo mariner take dhore rakhlo jodi o hat diye dhore rakhlo na she ebar tar glittering eye diye dhore rakhlo tar personality diye dhore rakhlo ebar cholo samne the wedding guest sat on a stone so the man was standing up before some time and now he sat on a stone he cannot choose but here i mean he was obliged he cannot choose but here and thus spake on that ancient man and thus speak that means speak means spoke speak the past form of speak and speak is an ancient form of english so old form of english and old english uh, so speak spoke spoken and a spoke has become a spake, a spake on that ancient mariner, the bright-eyed mariner. 
the man again continued his story the sheep was cheered the harbor cleared harbor you know that where the launches and where the steamers and where the sheep uh, are uh, set to take their rest harbor that means potasrai jekhane she thame jeti so the sheep was cheered cheered that means uh, there was no problem the weather was clear everything was fine and all of them were ready to go to the sea so the sheep was cheered and everything was in a very jolly environment jolly mood and in a festive mood the harbor cleared and the harbor was clear there was no problem merrily did it drop below the cock below the hill and below the lighthouse top so cock means church i mean the churches were in land and they were going to the sea so when they were going to the sea the churches were live or left behind so below the cock means below the church and below the hill the hills are left behind so think about uh, um, think about a station and when you were leaving a station all the things uh, you were on the bus and all the things are leaving behind it uh, it is seems that everything is running backward everything is running backward and you you were the only man or you are the only thing that is running forward so this is happening here merrily did we drop below the cock below the hill and below the lighthouse top mane sob kichu tader pishoner chole jete laglo sob kichu tader pishone chole laglo and they were forwarding they were advancing tara shamner dike egiye jachilo e jagate ekta shobdo ache khyal koro merrily did we drop drop means descend to the sea descend to the sea mane ki tara samudre avataran korchilo samudrer dike tara jachilo below the cock below the hill and below the lighthouse top the sun the sun came up upon the left so as the man the, man, the as the ship was going to the south so if you are going to the south then the sun uh, then uh, then the east will be the east will be on your left side think about an imagine tumi jodi dokkhin dike jao tahole tomar bam hate bam hat thakbe kon dike purber dike ar tomar dan hat thakbe kon dike ডানা থাকবে পশ্চিম দিকে সো দ্যাট কাইন্ড অফ এক্সপ্রেশন ইজ গিভেন ইয়ার দ্য সেন কেম আপ দ্য সান কেম আপ আপন দ্য লেফট মানে আমাদের বাম দিকে সূর্য কি হলো উদয় হলো আউট অফ দ্য সি কেম হি আই মিন ইটস এ ভেরি গুড সিনারি ওয়েন ইন দ্য ভেরি মর্নিং অ্যান্ড ওয়েন অ্যাট দ্য টাইম অফ ডন দ্য সান রাইজেস অ্যান্ড ইফ ইউ আর স্ট্যান্ডিং বিসাইড অন দ্য ব্যাঙ্ক অফ এ রিভার অর অন দ্য ব্যাঙ্ক অফ এ সি দেন ইউ সি দ্যাট uh the sun it as if uh, it were rising from from the sea mane mone hocche jano samudra theke surjo ta ki korteche ba nodir bhitor theke surjo ta uttese eta mone hobe tomader kache the sun the sun came up upon the left out of the sea came he and he shone bright and on the right went down into the sea ebong sara din she ujjal bhabe alo dilo kiran dilo kintu ki holo din sheshe she abar kothay giye asto gelo porshim dikhe giye অস্ত গেল এবং সেই পশ্চিম দিকটা ছিল তাদের কোন সাইডে রাইট সাইডে তোমাকে আবারও জিওগ্রাফিটা বুঝতে হবে তুমি যদি দক্ষিণ দিকে যাও এবং তোমার পিছন থাকে কোন দিকে তুমি তোমার মুখ হলো দক্ষিণ দিকে তোমার পিছন উত্তর দিকে দেন সেক্ষেত্রে তোমার ডান হাত হবে কোন দিকে বলো তোমার ডান হাত হবে পশ্চিম দিকে ইন দ্য ওয়েস্ট আর তোমার লেফট হবে কোন দিকে বলো লেফট হবে হলো তোমার বাম তোমার বাম হাত হবে কোন দিকে তোমার পূর্ব দিকে তার মানে দ্য সান ইজ রাইজিং ফ্রম দ্য ইস্ট অ্যান্ড দ্য সান ইজ সেটিং ইন দ্য ওয়েস্ট higher and higher every day protidin surjo ki hocche onek upore uthche till over the must at noon to must mane holo ki must mane holo pal pal to dupur bela surjo ta mone hoy ekdom jeno pal barabar uthe jacche the wedding guest here beat his breast hmm wedding guest er buke dhor phor shuru holo for he heard the loud bassoon bassoon is a musical instrument so uh Uh, it is uh, think about a situation that you are going to a party and you are going for a delicious food and everybody is sitting there and everybody is waiting for their food and all the uh, all the singers are singing and all the dancers are dancing and the environment is the situation the surrounding is very festive joyous and merry making but uh, you cannot attend cause uh you were stopped by someone you were stopped by police so at that time your heart beat increases your heart beat increases are kobe jabo kobe sara pabo kobe police er kach theke sara pabo so this is happening here the wedding guest here beat his breast for he heard the loud bassoon 
the bride has paced into the hall তো তোমরা তো জানো যে ব্রাইট তো একটু পরে আসে কনে কনে একটু কখন আসে পরে আসে তো কনে ও এসে ইতোমধ্যে কী করলো ঢুকলো রেড অ্যাজ এ রোজ ইজ শি শি ইজ অ্যাজ রেড অ্যাজ এ রোজ আই মিন অ্যাজ ইফ শি ইজ ভেরি ইননোসেন্ট শি লুকস লাইক এ রেড রোজ একটা লাল গোলাপকে কেমন দেখায় বলো লাল গোলাপকে খুব নিষ্পাপ দেখায় খুব অ্যাট্রাকটিভ দেখায় খুব সুন্দর দেখায় সো এই এই জায়গাতে যে ব্রাইট ছিল তাকে দেখে ওরকম খুব সুন্দর মনে হলো সো দ্য পোয়েট হিয়ার ইউজেস আ ভেরি কমন সিমিলি দ্যাট ইজ দ্য বিউটিফুল গার্লস আর অফটেন কম্পেয়ার টু রোজ সো দ্য পোয়েট ইজ সেইং দ্যাট রো রেড অ্যাজ রোজ অ্যাজ এ রোজ ইজ শি দ্য মিন শি ইজ অ্যাজ রেড অ্যাজ এ রোজ নোটিং দেয়ার হেয়ার্স বিফোর হার গোজ দ্য মেরি মিনস ট্রালসলি মিনস ট্রালসলি এখানে একটা শব্দ আছে দেখো মিন্স ট্রেলসলি মিন্স ট্রেলসলি শব্দের অর্থ হলো এক ধরনের সিঙ্গার তার মানে কি অনেক সিঙ্গাররা সেখানে ছিল দে ওয়ার ভেরি মেরি মেকিং দে ওয়ার এনজয়িং দেম সেলস এন্ড দে ওয়ার সিঙ্গিং দে ওয়ার ডান্সিং দে ওয়ার বিটিং দে আর বিটিং দে আর মিউজিক্যাল ইন্সট্রুমেন্টস যেটা বলে যে বিয়ের সানাই বাঁচতেছে তো দোস কাইন্ড অফ সানাইজ ওয়ার ওয়ার গোয়িং অন অ্যান্ড দ্য সাউন্ডস দ্য মিউজিক্যাল সাউন্ড দ্য সুদিং সাউন্ডস ওয়ার গোয়িং অন এটা বলছে যে সবাই কি হচ্ছে ওই ব্রাইট যাচ্ছে সবাই তাকে ওয়েলকাম জানাচ্ছে মাথা নাড়াচ্ছে সবই তাকে উইশ করতেছে দ্য ওয়েডিং গেস্ট হি বিট হিজ ব্রেস্ট ইয়ে ঠিক আনার চুজ বাট হিয়ার আবারও দেখে একই অবস্থা তার বুকের মধ্যে ধরফর শুরু হলো বাট হি ক্যান আর চুজ বাট হিয়ার তার মানে কি উইলিং সাসপেনশন অব ডিসবিলিভ যে তাকে এখন এমন একটা জিনিস করা হচ্ছে সে শুনতে চাচ্ছে না বাট তাকে শুনতে বাধ্য করা হচ্ছে and thus speak on that ancient mariner the bright eyed mariner so bright eyed mariner tar kotha boli jete laglo and now the storm blast came and he was tyrannous and strong hotat kore ekdin ki holo tar ship ni agat chilo agat chilo hotat kore storm blast batta chhor chhonchha tufan ashte laglo and he was tyrannous and strong and here storm blast is uh, capitalized that means uh, that is very powerful and that's very strong that is huge power and uh, it has been personified you know what is personification personification is a state uh, when uh, when uh, 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 an inanimate object uh, or an or, or an object uh, that is at, uh, that is uh, personified uh, that is uh, attributed uh, that is attributed with some uh, human qualities like uh, i saw that trees were coming towards me so Uh, uh you are comparing the trees as if uh, uh, they were human being and they were coming towards you actually uh, though in reality trees cannot come and trees cannot move forward move backward move downward or upward so that is called personification so uh, uh we see that he was tyrannous and strong tyrannous mane holo ottonto ottachari chilo he struck with his overtaking wings and chased at south along মানে সে এত বেশি জোরে আঘাত করলো জোরে আমাদের উপরে আক্রমণ করলো জোরে আমাদের উপরে এসে ফেটে পড়লো যে আমরা চেইস করা আমাদেরকে তাড়িয়ে নিয়ে গেলো কোথায় বলো আমাদেরকে তাড়িয়ে নিয়ে গেলো দক্ষিণ দিকে উই স্লোপিং মাস্ট অ্যান্ড ডিপিং প্রো প্রাউ উই উই we pursued with yell and blow still free the shadow of his foe and forward bends his head the ship drove fast loud roared the blast and southward away we fled mane onek beshi batas holo amra onek beshi yell korlam chitkar korlam ebong bhoy pelam kintu ship khub druto agat chilo ar oi batas ottonto loud roared mane ottonto jore jore gorjon korte chilo ebong amra aro druto dokkhin dikhe ki egiye jete laglam so that's all for today i hope you will enjoy this video clip this audio clip and you will try to understand yourself at your home thank you too much see you again inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa